Uh, and Al Manal, the big left armour. Was he um, Australian at that stage, was he? Yeah. Well, he played his first game at Shepherd's Shield Cricket, won the Shield and went, how, how, how easy is this? Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't get any better. I'm going to go play for England. Correct. Here we go. Connolly, for real this time. Meredith in. I saw Nick Kruger's name on there. Full and got through, and two's uh, what he's initially asking for. He'll get double that. First boundary of the morning. Rolly Bolt. And a little nibble down leg side, well taken by Jake Doran and gone. So that's the end of Gannon. Tasmania finally have their ninth. One wicket away from ending this innings. Short. This ball here banged in again. Gannon trying to get his body out of the way. A little bit of probably off the face of the bat, I would have thought. Oh, yeah. Went straight to good catch by Jake Doran yeah, behind good the stumps. Yeah. Well, that... Straight down the ground. And it should be good enough to get to the rope. It is so well timed from Cooper Connolly. Another boundary for the youngster. Goes hard in the air, out towards deep backward point. Should be taken, and he's dropped it. It's gone down. So Brad Hope puts down the chance. Disappointment for Tasmania, who want to end this first innings. Extra cover looks like the spot. Edges, and he's caught. So he's out for 90. And that concludes the West Australian first innings. Good catch by Bo Webster there. We know he's got a good pair of hands. And uh, what a fine performance from Cooper Connolly. Yeah, first hour of play. Bit of extra steep bounce, wasn't it, from Carlo? He's quite a tall guy. Good catch in the end by Bo Webster. That takes him to about 20 catches this season, I reckon, in the slips. Um, but that's a bit of an indication what this pitch is like with a new ball. Oh, big shout, big shout. Big trouble for Matthew Wade. Gannon has the breakthrough. Traps the veteran in front. And WA's momentum continues. Tall man, Gannon. Be interesting to see it's him above the knee roll seven on the drive through the covers this time so first aggressive shot of the innings from the tasmanians and it'll reach the rope edges through backward point bit risky down to the boundary for four Gannon. edges and dropped in the gully a chance through the hands of the fielder down to the boundary for four. So it looked like an opportunity there going begging. A tough one for the West Aussies. All edges through the gap down towards the boundary for four. So a bit of luck there for Jewel as he registers another boundary for Tasmania. It's just gonna be On the pads this time and whipped nicely out towards the boundary. So Jewel finally getting one away off the pads. Off the Over the top, good shot, in control of that one, and sent it on its way. As you say, get on with life. Here's Joel Paris, outswinger, punched through the offside. And a glorious shot there from Caleb Jewell, needed that. Full one, and gets it through, and no point chasing that. Yeah, one of the values uh, here at the Wacker ground, um, you hit it through the infield, it normally is four. Yes. Uses his feet this time and should go all the way. That one, it does. Up the race. The race. Good shot. Really, really good shot there from Wakem. His feet. I really looked. He was looking for Shelley to over pitch. I've seen his movements. In the air, down the woods, deep mid on, and the catch is held by Hilton Cartwright. Great bit of bowling from Rocacholi. And the second Tasmanian wicket falls, and it's Wakeham on his way. Wakeham came down the wicket. He was trying to go over the offside. Knew it from the moment he hit it. Just picked the man out, deep, long on. Hilton Cartwright took a very simple catch. A bit like the catch yesterday. Just good piece of bowling, good pressure. Removed all the scoring shots. Whipped off the pad, silk off the mark in style. Beautifully timed. Away behind square leg. So he's off the mark. And Tazzy. Oh. Yep. Good shot from Jewel. Gets it through. I don't mind that, I don't think, though. Charlie, Charlie. Catch, catch, yeah. A little edge. Second go at it for Inglis, and he's given. Jewel is gone. Big breakthrough for WA. With T around the corner. They've got of, uh, 
overspin on that one. That was yeah. up the bat and well taken in the end. Oh, one-hander at the end there from Inglis. Is that good? Or gets it through. The one gap in the slips, Gordon, and Jake Doran finds it. Right. Stobo, last ball the over. Driving Doran through <laughs> the covers. Good shot. Nicely played into the gap, and that'll find the rope. So good shot from Doran. A real confidence booster for him. The over ends at three for 105. Here's Paris around the wicket. <laughs> On the cut, Silk. He'll shot. find the boundary as well. So Good shot. A couple of boundaries in consecutive balls here for Tasmania. That was a lovely cricket shot. Ball came, hit it hard into the ground. Very quick to the whacker. That yeah. Sort of shot. Well. It's that one through. Past the bowler. Chase for mid-off. And it'll beat the field. Oh, nasty oh. blow into the fence as wow. well. Commitment there from Hilton Cartwright. And a much-needed boundary for Jake Doran. Punches that one down through mid-off. And that will be the 50 partnership. So Jake Doran... Consecutive boundaries in the last couple of overs. Just starting to move things along for the Tigers. Ball bowled him. Knocked him over. Hits the outside of the off stump. Partnership comes to an end and Aaron Hardy gets the breakthrough. Yeah, good delivery that. Just pitched off. Just straightened a little bit and clipped the outside of off stump. If anything, he was probably a fraction late on that, was he? Just looked like a bit of an effort ball from Aaron Hardy. I'm sure he was going to leave and then play. And it was a good piece of bowl. You can just see it just, just actually seemed away. No worries, I'll just have to check. <laughs> oh, wafting at one. They like it behind, but nothing doing. Gee, I tell you what, R Luke Ronke's done that. Luke Ronke. <laughs> it's coming it's back. Good, is it? He was a good uh, keeper batsman for the WA. Before he became Josh Kiwi. Inglis. Yes. He's very confident with that, Josh Inglis. He can't believe it. And it does look to be deviate. Oh, look deviation. at the first slip. Look at Stobo. Yeah, yeah, second slip. Now, the key is... Oh, big neck. Yeah, yeah that was big neck. See the movement. Show that one again. You, you watch. That one's put away from Bo Webster. That's more like it. Races away. His first boundary. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings up... Double noise up in the air and That's taken. Out. That's out. That's gone. Aaron Hardy alert. Bo Webster has to go. And WA's great day gets better. That one's put away from Bo Webster. That's more like it. Races away. His first boundary. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings up the... Off the hip. Oh, well taken by Inglis. Has he got a glove on that? Yes, he has. So Jordan Silk's long innings comes to an end. A brilliant catch by Josh Inglis and another wicket for Cameron Gannon. WA well on top right now. Here's a replay. You can see just off the just off the top hand. Good catch. They celebrate the Western Australians. They've picked up the crucial wicket of Jordan Silk. Yeah, very good catch. Low down to his left. Had to go a long way. So there you go. That's the end of two days of the Sheffield Shield final. Tasmania, 6 for 152, trailing by 195. Great last session for the West Aussies picking up.